Yeah, uh, I think a really fun and special night. Um, we had a couple things going on. Um, it's our alumni night. We had a lot of alums out, and you know, we've we talked to these players a lot that they're standing on other women's back that that did so much prior to build build the program, and now they're they're creating new uh, legacies for for the future of the program. So. So that was really good. I really liked that we were able to get everyone in, and I think the thing that impressed me the most is our our play remained the exact same as we put people from the bench that hadn't played a ton this year, and I thought they just did an outstanding job. Questions for anyone? How ready were you to let it rip tonight? Uh, I'd say, yeah, it's been a long process going through some stuff, um, but it was really good just to get on the court and like Booth was talking about, like everyone getting in, and it's such a team that like we're 19 strong, like everyone's on each other's backs and like we hold everyone to the high standard, but you can feel the love on the court. So it's a really good experience. I think there are scarier things. I think oh. sometimes <laughs> getting thrown in like maybe against the Nebraska or against when Nora's nose is bleeding and yeah, yeah. you're feeling a little like, do you act toy the scout or anything like that? But and then I you think, come in and nail a pass like you did. Right. Yeah. And then, there you go. Yeah, I can't complain, yeah. but yeah, I think I knew that everyone was supporting me, so it wasn't too nerve-wracking. Um, how exciting was it to get all the freshmen and all the people who normally don't get as much time on the court to get out on the court with you guys? I think it was really fun. I mean, that said, like, we're 19 strong, and we love getting to cheer everyone on. And even like on the bench, we love doing the new cheers that we don't always get to do every single day. And, um, you, the energy and excitement grows on the court and in the stands when everyone sees all of our bench clear and go in, and it's just so awesome. Kind of twofold, how big was it for like the first unit not to kind of mess around and feel their way into it to allow the opportunity for others to play? And the other flip side of it, obviously, is what you said in your opening statement, that the level didn't drop once, yeah. once you started making some occasions. Yeah, you know. Um, Sorry, my question. The first question was what, Matt? The, yeah, the, the starters didn't mess around. Oh yeah, can, can yeah. And that led, you know, one of our big goals was come out strong. Uh, we didn't want Providence, Providence to believe. I mean, um, these guys both were here. I think last year they were up in some of the games late, um, and so this, you know, and it's different home and away sometimes, but you know. These guys made it look easy tonight, but you give up some aces, you make some unforced errors, suddenly you're in a dog fight. And I thought the start, uh, when Maddie went on that run in the first game, really set a tone of like, okay, we're gonna be clean and um, you know, we're gonna take care of things. And um, yeah, again, I see it in the gym every day, uh, the depth of this team. But I said you know, in the locker room, one of the things that I thought was impressive was, I know nerves for some of them are huge in those moments. And I thought, you know, they really did a nice job of performing even through some of those nerves. What did you think Destiny did well tonight? That, you know, she was really turning on. Mm -hmm. well, especially early, she wasn't really making any errors. All her swings were aggressive. When you see her the same thing that I see in the gym. You know, I think uh, Des, I mean, she knows she, well, we all know Destiny has a cannon. Sydney gets to uh, face that. Um, I thought one of the things, Des is working on was managing the game, and I thought I thought she did a great job of managing the game tonight. If that ball wasn't perfect, doing something smart with it, um, and just getting them out of system. So uh, that was really good to see. What are you guys looking forward to for like, the rest of this week and then into the big season? Um, I just am looking forward to, I mean, obviously getting on the road, and I think for us, like, it's really important to have the mindset like no drop off from preseason, like we talked about. It. I think we said a million times, but we get a lot of different opportunities to play, and maybe some different gyms and different places. So just taking advantage of those and continuing to get ready for what's next. Marquette's always a big one, so we're excited for Tuesday, but we're not overlooking Sunday by any means, and we're just taking it one day, one game at a time. Second set, they did get up to a three-zero run, right? Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what key the run that you went out from behind the line to? It's just push you guys back in control and reassert your, reassert what you've been doing. Yeah. We've been talking a lot in the gym about um, serving tempo, serve fast, be aggressive from behind the line. And so I just kind of had that in my head and just wanting to get them out of system as much as possible. But I don't think being down 0-3 rattled us at all. We just 
I don't know, I came in and we knew what we had to do. So. Anything else? I don't know what's going on with UConn and Marquette, but obviously they have an undefeated preseason or non-con, however you want to phrase it. So one way or another, they're going to come in with a lot of belief. And you know, you talked in the past about how powerful that can be. What kind of a challenge do you think you're facing on Sunday, especially with the rivalry match on Tuesday? Uh, UConn's a good team. Uh, they have um, particularly one outside that's got a cannon. She's leading the country in service aces, and it's a legit serve that's low air. Um, one of their middles is, is highly effective. Um, and then they've got good pieces all around it. So, uh, I mean, I, that's what we said in the locker room of um, UConn is, they, they were a little bit of an anomaly last year. They've been a pretty good team. They just really struggled last year. Uh, they've got a setter that uh, locates really, really well, can fling it all over the place, is quite deceptive, throws it over the net a lot. So uh, we're gonna need to be ready to go, ready to go for a good team. Thanks, guys.